Welcome to the technical studies. In this video, I will show you how to read, lay out, and fabricate a drawing of a large structural truss. The truss is made of box sections. We will go through the drawing step by step. Please download the PDF drawing from the link in the description, as it is clearer than the one shown in the video. Have a look at the drawing. As per the material list, most of the parts are made of rectangular hollow sections. Gusset plates, stiffeners, purling cleats, and the base plates are made of plates. This is the CG lines or center of gravity lines. Look at the details of detail A and compare with the 3D view. Detail B. Section A, A. Read the material list again. Mark and cut the plate parts. Drill holes as per the given dimension. If you have any doubt, draw the layout and then mark the gusset plates. Read the material list once again. Let us draw the layout. First of all, lay out this sketch on a platform or on plates laid on a leveled ground. Draw a straight line. The length of the line shall be 21 meter 526 millimeters. Draw a vertical line, 2000 millimeters, vertical to this base line. Go to the end of the line and mark 869 mm and 1131 mm lines, as shown, on both ends. These lines shall be parallel the center line. Now draw the slant line, as shown, on both sides of the center line. This the main structure of our layout. Mark 1175 mm on both sides of the center line. Mark the remaining dimensions on top and bottom main lines as shown. Draw the diagonal lines and complete the layout. This is actually the center of gravity lines. Now, we will mark the width of the members on this lines. Since the width of item number 1 is 130 mm, we will mark half width 65 mm on both sides of the CG lines. Tack weld stoppers on both sides of these lines at many locations as required. Since the width of the diagonal members are 60 mm, mark 30 mm each on both sides of the diagonal lines, as shown. Tack weld cleats on these lines also. First, put the larger members in the jig, as shown. Make sure the notch cut is correctly done.
Put the top and side members on its position and tack well together. Tack well the diagonal members, center to sides. Install the splice plates. After completing the welding of the structure, install the truss chair and purling cleats, etc. Thank you for watching. If you have any doubts, please comment. Please subscribe, like, and share the video.